Till now we have completed five theorems in this chapter and uh, now we are going to have discussion on our sixth theorem which is compensation theorem and uh, before i explain you what is compensation theorem i will first explain you one very basic concept we all know what is ohm's law and according to ohm's law when a current flows through a resistor there will be a voltage drop across that resistor now this voltage drop opposes the main source voltage and uh, therefore this voltage drop across the resistor can be treated as a voltage source acting opposite to the main voltage source now based on this basic concept we have a theorem known as compensation theorem and uh, now we will move on to the statement of this theorem according to the statement in a linear bilateral network with independent sources if an impedance z with current i through it is changed to z plus delta z then the incremental change in the current due to this will be same as the current produced by voltage source i delta z when connected in series with the new impedance z plus delta z in the new network with all the independent sources being turned off so this is the statement of compensation theorem and i know it is a little lengthy and uh, not very easy to comprehend initially therefore we are going to understand it with the help of this network we are going to decode this statement piece by piece according to this statement we should have a linear bilateral network with independent sources like we have in this case this is the independent source and the network is having linear elements then we should have an impedance through which a current should flow we have this impedance z and uh, let's say current through this impedance is equal to i now let us read further the impedance z should now change to z plus delta z we will change z to z plus delta z and uh, when we do so all the currents in this network will change let's say current through this impedance is now i prime it was i initially after the change it is now i prime so the incremental change delta i will be equal to i minus i prime now this incremental change in the current will be same as the current produced by voltage source providing i delta z when connected in series with the new impedance new impedance in the new network new network with all the independent sources being turned off so we will turn off this independent source and we will put one voltage source providing the voltage i delta z in series with this new impedance and this will give us delta i now what is i delta z it is the increment in the voltage drop because of incrementing z to z plus delta z and as i said initially that the voltage drop across the resistor or the impedance can be treated as a voltage source acting opposite to the main voltage source and it is very obvious that this change in current will be due to this newly added extra voltage drop and therefore we will turn off all the other independent sources and we will have only this voltage source which is having the value equal to the drop acting opposite to the main source so this is how the modified network will look we have short circuited e and we have introduced one voltage source which will be i delta z and due to this source we will have a current in this branch and uh, this current will be the incremental change in current delta i so i hope you now understand what is compensation theorem and uh, to do the implementation of what we have discussed just now i have taken one example problem so let us move on to our example problem in this problem we are required to find the change in current through the resistance r3 when it is incremented to 3 ohms initially r3 is equal to 2 ohms and we need to find the change in current through r3 when it is incremented to 3 ohms and we can use compensation theorem to solve this 
problem. So let's move on to the solution. As discussed in compensation theorem, to find out change in current, we will introduce one voltage source with value I delta R in series with new R3, 3 ohms with turning off the 6 volts source. We know delta R, delta R is equal to 3 ohms minus 2 ohms. So delta R is equal to 1 ohm. But we don't know the value of current I. So we will first find out current I. We know current I is the current through R3 when it is not incremented to 3 ohms. To find out current I, we can use the current divider rule if we can have this current. Let's say it is I1. I1, current I1 will be equal to 6 volts divided by 2 and 2 in parallel, 2 and 2 in parallel plus 2 because 2 is in series with this combination. When you simplify this, you will have I1 equal to 2 amperes. Now without even using the formula of current divider rule, we can say that current I will be equal to 1 ampere because I1 which is 2 amperes will get divided equally into two branches. They have the same resistance. So now we can have I delta R it will be equal to 1 multiplied to 1 volt. So the voltage source we need to add in a series with new R3 will have the value 1 volt. And you can see that we have turned off the 6 volts source. We have replaced it by a short circuit. And now you can find out the incremental change in current I. And this is your homework problem. Find out delta I and once you have your answer, post it in comment section. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.